Hey what's up guys my name is Parvinder from PNP Tutorials and you're watching the PNP Tutorials channel and in this video we are going to talk about how we can connect our Raspberry Pi 0W directly into our PC without have to make the use of USB adapters, HDMI cables, power supply and all. Before we further go ahead in the video, the like aim of this video is 30 likes. So step 1 is to install the Raspbian operating system into a Raspberry Pi. I am making the use of this lightweight operating system and I will flash it onto my SD card using the Win32 disk imager. If you don't know how to flash the Raspberry Pi, then you can watch my previous video, link is given in the description below. Once the flashing process is finished, then the step 2 comes and here we need to make the configuration changes into our SD card in order to enable the SSH into our Raspberry Pi, change the default password of the Raspberry Pi and to recognize the Raspberry Pi as an Ethernet gadget. Open cmdline.txt and add modules hyphen load equals dwc2 comma g underscore etho and save this file. Now open config.txt file and at the end of this file you need to add dt overlay equals dwc2 and save this file again. Now in order to enable the ssh into a raspberry pi we need to create a file name as ssh. So open any blank file type in here anything. Save this file, name it as ssh, keep the file type as all and click on save. This will enable the ssh into a raspberry pi. When you will try to do the ssh into your raspberry pi then your default password will not work. For that we will have to create a file called userconf.txt into a SD card. The format would be like the username colon and the encrypted password. I am using this command for generating the encrypted password where the password is raspberry. Let me copy this, paste it into the notepad. Now I will save this file as a userconf.txt. As soon as I will save this file, I will be able to log into Raspberry Pi via SSH using this password. Now the step 3 is plug your SD card back to your Raspberry Pi and plug that Raspberry Pi into your PC. Now we want to make our PC compatible with the Raspberry Pi so that the PC can recognize the Raspberry Pi as an Ethernet gadget. Now as soon as you will plug in your Raspberry Pi into your PC then you need to see what all devices are coming under the control panel. Click on devices and under the devices my Raspberry Pi is detected as a USB serial device. If you see the Raspberry Pi or Ethernet gadget then you don't need to follow the step 3. But if you are still seeing this as a USB serial device like I am seeing over here then I need to perform the step 3. So first of all we need to install a software called Bonjour. The link is given in the description below. Click on this Bonjour software. Since I have already installed it so I don't have to do it again. Second step would be to download this driver Ethernet RNDIS driver. I will give the link of this driver in the description area. Now we need to go to the device manager. Now here you can see guys we are seeing the Raspberry Pi as a USB serial device. So we need to right click on it, click on update driver, click on browse my computers, click on browse. My driver is available on the desktop. So I'll click on that. I'll go ahead and click on RNDIS. This is the driver I need to choose. Click on open, click on OK and click on this and click on next. Once you do that your Raspberry Pi should be detected as an Ethernet device. Click on close and once you go back to your port section there is no COM serial port but when you go inside the network adapters you will see there is a device named as USB Ethernet or RNDIS gadget. This is a Raspberry Pi. Now the step 4 is to do the SSH into a Raspberry Pi. Now we need to ensure the Raspberry Pi is actually detected as an Ethernet device. For that what we will do is we will ping the Raspberry Pi. Ping Raspberry Pi dot local and as you can see we are getting the response which means Raspberry Pi USB setup is done. Now we will go back to our putty. Type in here Raspberry Pi dot local. Click on open. Enter the username. Enter the password. And here you can see guys I am able to log in into my Raspberry Pi by just using the PC power and I don't have to make the use of any keyboard, mouse and HDMI cable. Now if you want to make Raspberry Pi 0W and 2W a more portable device then you can connect 
this USB module directly into your Raspberry Pi 0W or 2W. So what will happen is you just plug in that USB device directly to your PC and you will be able to do the SSH and VNC directly into your Raspberry Pi. I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video then give it a big thumbs up. Meet my daughter. She is Rida. If you guys are new to this channel then don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.